Welcome back to Let's Play Newtopia 2. We've discovered the fate of our father, and from him we've gained the legendary sword. We've also discovered that Princess Kia has been kidnapped. So we need to go back to the shrine and find out what happened. Her bedroom was off to the right. Guards, what happened? And a red cape. Who do I know that has worn a red cape? The only one that comes to mind is Dearth. Didn't learn much from them. How about you, old man? Oh man! Thanks! So Princess Kia's kidnapper has taken her to a new land. Oh man, we got some kicking music playing too. I'd use the wind staff, but right now it's crappy. Oh no, they're alive! So are they! Anybody home? Hmm. I really cannot comment on how friggin' awesome this music is. Anybody home? Heck yeah! Let's go that way then, because I'm always up for some life force healing. Have a heart. Yes! Oh man! This is the... We've gained enough life now to have the tier 3 attacks with our staffs. Now with the wind staff, it is this. The massive whirlwind. Which is actually very... not useful. Now I say that because... It attacks behind you. Attacking behind you is a very bad idea because it'll just knock enemies into you. So once we get to this stage, I tend to just go back to the fire staff. Same power up as from the first Newtopia, and it's awesome and stuff. Eat it. I would very much like to use the wind one, but you have to be cautious. And we've arrived at another town. Hey, dude. Oh, heavens. Now, the thing about this game is, um, I was kind of mentioning before that they used the Sphere 1 and 2 music, the two Grass Dance music, multiple times throughout the game, and not dividing it up into spheres. So a little bit of repetitive music, but it's not bad. If you really want some repetitive music, look at the towns. Um, a lot of the towns in Newtopia use the same music over and over, and I think it would have been nice if they differentiated that up a bit. Hmm. So there's an island floating somewhere with the sun flame on it. Don't care. Because I have two. Also, don't care. That door is open. That guy sells palms.
Hmm. A pond full of monsters that Murdoch enjoyed. Oh man, a weaponsmith! Heck yeah! Oh man! So all we gotta do is go get the Sunflame, and we can get a freaking super powerful sword and stuff. We just have to figure out how to get to that. Well, the person did say to go over here and kill the things, because stuff could happen. Yay! That's another old man. And then, the Lightning Staff, the final staff. It's all nifty. I can shoot out two straight forward and backwards, and then Lightning Strikes on either side of me. Personally, I find the Lightning Staff to be the least useful of all staffs, but uh, I'll show it off. Wow, either these things are strong, or that lightning really isn't that powerful. Let's try the wind staff. Okay, how much life do you guys have, seriously? Because that's just ridiculous. I'm going the wrong way! And there is nothing of use that way. Now, I still am not positive where to get this sun flame thing. Actually, I'm kidding, I know exactly what it is, but I'm saying as a player, you would not know. However, if we move just not terribly far to the north, we will find another ice-laden area. Thanks, kind lady. Ooh, so what we need is the Bell of Heaven. Alright, our next goal is to find the Bell of Heaven. Wait, is the Bell of Heaven was the item from the first Newtopia game that made the hidden things appear? Ah, the town of Igloo. Now, when I'm, in talking about the repetitive nature of the village music in Newtopia, oddly enough, this one screen is the only screen in the entire game that plays this music. It's town music in a one-screen big town that is only used once in the entire game. But then the other towns, like, bounce back and forth between two musics the whole time. Oh, heavens. Your granddaughter. Hmm. Was your granddaughter a princess? This town is filled with merchants. Holy crap, this town is filled with merchants. Okay, that's better. A girl who was a descendant of Murdoch. Heck yeah, let's go over that way then. I'm not going to stab you. Because you bounce around and are difficult to stab. Hey, kind lady. Aha! So our goal is the Tower of Heaven. This tower holds the bell, which will take us to the floating island. The floating island will get us the sun flame thing, that I forget what's called.
which will totally give us, like, a really nice sword. We have a goal! We have a quest! We're still tracking the red-caped man. Vanished through the Twin Towers, so that's where we're headed. The Twin Towers should find us that as well. The Ice Giant. So by going to the Twin Towers, we can solve all of our dilemmas. We can find Princess Kia, we can find the girl that was kidnapped from the town of Igloo. And this is where the Ice Giant slumbers. Everything resides within the, to within the Twin Towers. And I think those were the Twin Towers. You'll notice I'm not sticking around and fighting these guys much. They're kinda jerks, so I'm not gonna. Alright then. Gah, jerk! Save, which I will not concern myself. Can I block that? Yes! Eat fire! You gonna come back? You gonna come back on top of me? Oh no, I don't have the range for it! Now I can't hit him at all, heavens! Oh well, not important. Burn the door down! And we can enter the ice dungeon! I'm killing you, whether you like it or not. Will this hit you? Dang. Well, when he comes back, I'm totally flailing him. Come back! And now I wait. You know, I probably, like, can't even kill him this way. It's gonna be really silly. Come on. Yes! Yes! So, I think this has gone on fairly long enough, so until next time, everyone, when we go inside the Twin Towers, which should solve all of our questions. Until then, everyone.